Hi, this is Gronya from the Sound Healing Academy. Today I'm talking to massage therapist Peggy Ranshaw, who is currently training with us. Peggy is based in Florida and she completed her level one multi-instrument course with us and she's currently training with us at level two. Hi Peggy, how are you? Hi, it's so nice to see you. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, I'm delighted to be talking to you today about your um, sound healing practice and your massage practice. Can you tell me a little bit about before sound healing, um, how your practice works and what you do? Yeah, absolutely. I've been a massage therapist and an aromatherapist for about 16 years. So um, working mostly in the spa industry, but over time, definitely moving into more um, holistic and just having the opportunity to really help people on their healing journey. So that's mainly my focus. I um, opened my own studio with the intention of adding sound healing. So we're actually called Tuned In Wellness, which just really incorporates, you know, my heart in all of this and being able to just help people in what, whatever they need in all our different ways. So oh, brilliant. So when you were training as a um, massage therapist, like how did you feel about sound healing? What, what made you make that leap into training in sound healing? I actually was introduced to sound healing right after massage school. So this was years and years ago. And I um, had just some things that I felt I needed to work on. And since I just went through all the schooling for more natural ho holistic approaches, I thought, well, I should probably try one out for what I'm going through. And so I went to an acupuncturist and went and told her kind of what I had going on. And she said, well, I just did a class on sound healing. Do you mind if we try that? And it, it literally rocked my world being able to experience that. And she did um, at the time, Tibetan Himalayan bowls and tuning forks. And it, it did everything it needed to do. And I experienced great relief. But of course, she's an acupuncturist. So at the time, I'm just like, well, you know, she does a whole different type of work. And it didn't even occur to me at the time that that's something that I could possibly do. And it wasn't until years later, and I'm hearing little bits about and thinking, wow, I really would like to do that kind of work. And um, it's probably about two years ago that a friend of mine, when I mentioned to her, oh, man, I, I would really like to look into sound therapy or sound healing. And she said, Peggy, that's perfect for you. <laughs> like just what she knew about me and my love of music and being part of the healing art. She's like, it just makes sense. Mm -hmm. So then I started looking into it for my own practice. And how do you integrate it? So within a massage uh, therapy session how what instruments would you choose how would you integrate it into a session so a lot of what I do in my practice what people come to me for is um, body physical pain and so they come specifically for you know muscular work for muscle manipulation and just relief from physical pain and so they're not necessarily looking for other things they just want a massage so what's been really fun for me to be able to do is just to slowly introduce them. You know, I might use the Tibetan bowls on their back at the end because it just feels good and it's nice and relaxing and kind of wakes them up a little bit. Or um, sometimes if somebody's just really amped up and having a hard time relaxing, because it's really important in massage session, if you can't relax, then it's kind of counterproductive. So um, I found myself being able to pull out tuning forks and just doing a relaxation protocol with the tuning forks by their ears. And, and then it opens up the conversation. Well, what is that? What are the benefits? And it's really been great for me to be able to educate them on sound healing. And of course, you know, the more people hear about it, the more they're like, oh, you know, can you do some of that during our massage? And um, it's, it's been really cool being able to find different ways that I can incorporate it into the work and to be able to see the difference that it makes for each person. 
I love that you're opening people up to it as well, because uh, you are also training with us at level two. So that must be uh, fantastic to be able to introduce that within your massage therapy practice, but then mm -hmm. also as you qualify as a standalone sound therapist or sound healer, you can then offer them different practices based on what their needs are. Yeah, I, I look forward to the day that somebody comes and says, you know, I just need the vibrations and that will be something I'll be able to offer. And what do you think the difference is now that now that you've moved from level one and level one is fantastic because you can incorporate it into your sessions. But with level two, what what is the difference of what you've learned um, in those sessions? So level one, it was kind of fun because I already felt very comfortable, you know, going in and then learning the science, why everything works, being introduced to the instruments and just like, I was just ready. Just like, okay, I got this, we can go. And then you get into level two when things really get so much deeper into being able to connect with your clients and being able to understand the instruments so well and having tons of opportunities to practice with them. So I went from just feeling like, yeah, like I'm comfortable doing this work to really feeling confident and understanding what it is that I am doing and how it's going to make a difference. And also feeling more and more comfortable with the idea of like, I can tune in to what they need and know exactly what's going to work. And the ear training part of level two has been incredible as well. So I can hear the differences and the sound quality so much better. So I, I have really appreciated that opportunity to get deeper into it because I know that's going to benefit my clients in the long run. I'm so glad it's all coming together and that you're able to incorporate it all into your sessions. Well, thank you so much. So where are you based? Are you based in the States? So I am. I'm um, on the central coast of Florida, a small town called Titusville. And we are just, it's a beautiful little town. And we really have got a lot of people who are just looking for opportunities to heal always. And so mm -hmm. I'm glad that I get to be a part of that. Well, I wish you the very best of luck and the best luck in the rest of your studies with us. Thank you so much. Thank you to Peggy for telling us all about her training with us and how she has integrated sound healing into her massage therapy practice. If you are an existing practitioner, you can train with us at level one if you'd like to integrate it into an existing practice or if you'd like to provide standalone sound healing sessions, then you can continue on and deep dive as Peggy has done and train with us at level two. For more videos, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.